hey what's going on ladies and gents welcome to another genshin impact video today i'm going to make sure you guys are prepared for huta when she releases in just about two weeks so 98.8 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so please consider liking this video as well subscribing to the channel it would mean the world to me and let's get straight into the video so if we go over here to our nice wish list banner we can see that it's 11 days and 8 hours until Hu Tao comes to Genshin Impact. And I cannot wait for that day to come. Um, so here I am. I'm in the character archive showing you guys Hu Tao here. So we can talk a little bit about her. First things first, she is a Pyro Polar user. And her constellations are pretty decent. But if you want a good constellation, you want to go for C1. Other than that, don't go for anything else. All right, her talents. Well, you want to be going for obviously 666 in the very beginning, but um, you mostly want to spend it on the guide to afterlife as well as your normal attack because that's the thing that you're going to mostly use. Obviously, her other talents such as this will give your entire team crit rate, which is awesome. Increased power damage bonus by 33% if your 2000 HP is less than 50 and a suspicious ish passive i mean this one's pretty useless <laughs> but yeah hu tao is awesome i really enjoy hu tao as a character unfortunately i do not have her but i do have a chance of getting her in this new pack all right so hu tao is an excellent character and that a lot of people do enjoy including myself so hopefully we do get hu tao in the upcoming banner anyways um hu tao is easy to build and i'm gonna show you guys some of her builds later but I'm going to tell you guys some of her talent materials and essential materials that you might need. All right, you have two weeks to prepare. Guys, so I'm going to be giving you guys all the essential materials to get to level 80. And of course, you are going to need a lot more materials if you want to get to 90. But I'm going to show you guys um, how to get to 80 pretty quick. So let's just get straight to it. So in order for you to get to level 80 in ascension, you need 26 juvenile jades. This is something you get from fighting the primal geo fish ship. And it's really easy to get. So make sure you guys farm those boss materials. You're going to need 108 of these silk flowers as well. This is found in the way only where you can find it next to the... Alright, you can find the silk flowers over here at Wangshu. And you're going to find it along the road here. You can find a bunch or most of it here. And you can find some also in the way if you just run around here. Um, you're going to need 108 silk flowers. So make sure you grind that out. And you're going to need a bunch of Whopper Flower Nectar. If you guys don't know what it looks like, I'm going to show you guys on the screen what it looks like. You're going to need a bunch of that. And you're going to need 300,000 more for the Ascension only. And you're going to need 1.3 million for the level up to 80. All right. You're also going to need 247 purple books approximately to get your Hu Tao to level 80. And now we're going to be talking about the talent books. So for the talent books, you're going to need diligence books, which is found in Liyue. And you're going to need 9 green ones, 63 blue ones, 114 gold ones. And you're going to need 18 Tartaglia drops. So make sure you guys farm Tartaglia boss every single week in order for you to get the highest chance of getting the thing dropped. As well as, you know, the Dream Solvent, you can use that to get there as well. And obviously, you're going to need a bunch of Whopper Flower Nectar. So your the amount you're going to spend is a little interesting because you're only going to need 368,000 mora in order for you to get to level 6 6 6 on everything but if you want to go all the way to level 10 10 10 you're going to need three crowns and five million mora that's a lot of that that's a big difference <laughs> that's a big difference so yeah, that is her talent materials. That's what you need to get. You're going to need to prepare for all of that before her arrival in 12 days. So since Hu Tao does scale off of HP, the Staff of Home is going to be her best in slot weapon, which is the weapon that came out with Hu Tao back in the day. And there's a lot of good options for her here. We have the... Um, the new weapon, the Engulfing Lightning, which has energy recharge and a lot of attack bonus. It's an okay weapon. Um, you've got the Primordial Jade Spear, which is good for crit rate, but not much else. Uh, you've got the um, the Catch, which is also a good weapon, uh, but it's only for the Burst, so not that great either. You have the Skyward Spine, not that great either. So there are a lot of good um, best in slot weapons for Hu Tao in terms of 4 star, because you've got the Deathmatch, really good decent has that crit rate that you need you've got the black cliff pole which is going to be an okay option as well 
and you've got the Dragon's Bane. The Dragon's Bane is definitely her best in slot 4 star weapon in my personal opinion. Unless you want to use the Kitten Cross Spear which is also pretty good. Alright so her artifact sets I would recommend the 4 piece Crimson Witch heavily especially if you're going with an elemental mastery build for your you know Dragon's Bane, your Kitten Cross Spear. Um, I really do highly recommend the whole Crimson Witch set because it does increase your vaporize and melt damage. So I do recommend that. You can also go with interesting builds. You can do some mixed builds as well in case you can't quite reach that crit rate, crit damage quota. So if you want, you can also go with the four piece Shimanawa set, which I highly recommend also because you get another big bonus from the Shimanawa set. However, it will be a little difficult for you guys to use your ultimate because you're going to be using her elemental skill abund. So yeah, that's her artifact sets and everything. So let's go and fight the Prime Geo Fisher. So I'm going to be using the most free play friendly team that I can think of and it's this one. I'm not saying it's the best team, but it's the one I currently have. All right, let's get straight into it. <laughs> I wonder how this is going to work. Um, I don't think my Diona's geared like at all, but she's going to be there just for the shield basically. Oh, shield don't run out now. There we go. <laughs> uh, thank God. Oh no, don't do it. Oh no, my thing isn't proccing. My uh... What's it called? My sacrificial sword isn't proccing. Which is a little bit unfortunate here. It's fine, we've got a shield. We've got our shield on. And there we go. And do a little bit of these. Let's see if I can. There we go. There we go. Very good. Dodge. We got our ultimate here. I'm gonna use one of these. We almost have our ult back. There we go. And it's over. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Obviously, if you go here, you get your primal jades or juvenile jades rather. You just click here. Use the original resin. And there we go. I got pretty lucky because I got three there, which is pretty nice. But yeah, that's basically it. You just got to do a lot of that, a bunch of that, and you're going to be pretty much good to go for Hu Tao's arrival at Genshin Impact 2.2 pack. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for Hu Tao's rerun? And are you going to be pulling on her banner? Uh, are you going to be pulling on her banner because of Toma or because of Hu Tao? Let me know in the comment section down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well. Subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.